Hey Virgo, this is Kelly from Goddess Power Tarot, getting ready to do your bi-weekly reading, March 16th through the 31st. So this will be heavy Mercury retrograde energy playing out until the 28th. Um, so that shows up here. It's going to show up. This is a general tarot reading. It's not necessarily love. It's just whatever messages that you need to hear um, that I'm picking up for this time, Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, okay? So I'm gonna pull five cards and then I'm gonna um, pull two cards uh, for what you may need to be paying attention to during this time period, okay, Virgo? Give me a second here. I kind of feel like that shuffle was blah. Not so great. Oh, hold on. It's a little bit better. Okay, Virgo energy for Virgo. All right, Virgo, you're starting off with the six of swords. So here you are coming out of a mental um, prison, so to speak. I don't want to say mental prison. I just feel like chaos, emotional chaos. It's affected you mentally. Okay. There's also an energy here of possibly travel, going to a really calm, serene place, going by water, you and possibly a child and someone else. This is taking an Uber, uh, to get out of the city. This is, um, some of you are coming back from visiting someone who is incarcerated as well. And, um, it was kind of a trying visit, but now you're going back into your calm relaxed emotional place calm relaxed emotional state there's also an energy here of a fear of transition virgo it's something that you have to do and you're aware of this but there is an element of fear in doing this it could be some of you could be relocating you maybe you have to move or relocate from a job um, there's a little bit of fear behind that and uh, you may need a little bit of s assistance. Some of you, some of you are um, removing you and a child or your children out of an um, abusive situation or um, whatever it may be. Somebody's helping you, okay, to do this. Somebody's kind of like driving you somewhere or taking you somewhere. Um, they're they're helping you because there's an. I, when I look at that card, I feel like there's an element of sadness here in regard to whatever this is and um they're trying to help you get into a, a better place now if it's not an abusive situation you just have someone um maybe who's driving you around to doctor appointments um pediatrician appointments or um, driving you places um taking you to and from visiting someone okay and there's also an element of somebody's coming to get you to whoever that could be all right let's move on to the next card so you have the ten of pentacles so that's nice this can represent um security and family okay so somewhere during this time period especially if you're trying to find a secure situation for your family or a better financial situation that's going to pay off um this is also lottery winnings for me um our family trust wills uh something you need to reach out to family members about um, a home, possibly selling a home or relocating a home or moving from a home. That energy there too. Pay attention to your taxes. Make sure that you are um, getting back the amount that's expected. I feel like there's a pretty good amount that's coming back. So if you haven't done your taxes yet um, or you don't expect much, mm, you might have someone who's helping you or finds some loopholes where you actually do get something back. Look over wills as well and trust uh, insurance payments. Look over loans. I feel like um, you guys, you have like the all this, like the, there's money around somewhere that you don't really know about, okay? Um, sometimes you can go on the internet and I think the government has like... Um, money that was never uh, lost money or money that was never claimed um, that's coming to me so you can check that out as well I, God, I was feeling like this queen of swords was going to come up for you okay two things queen of swords you know of course represents air libra gemini aquarius also represents virgo and um if you want to know why and then the lovers is showing up here if you want to know why 
um, you can look it up, okay? Does the Queen of Swords also represent Virgo? Um, it can, because of its um, mercurial uh, air messenger type energy. So here's the thing. Um, whoever this person is, they're going to be significant in the way of truth telling. If this is you, then your energy telling the truth, having communication with someone. You're not going to be like in your masculine, harsh, harsh energy. I feel you're going to, like, I don't feel you're going to have aggressive energy with someone. I feel you're going to be more like you're sitting down and you're hearing and you're calling someone over. I feel like in, if this is in your energy, you're kind of like, come here. I want to talk to you. We're going to have a talk. We're going to have a conversation. That's what's going on here. Or this is another person doing this to you. But there's going to be some truthful communication coming out during this time period. Let me just pull a card. Um, I don't usually clarify. Well, I do. I clarify the um, Arcanas and the Majors and the Quirk cards. Just to get a little bit of information. Okay. So there's uh, messages, text messages going back and forth. This could have something to do with a child, okay? Possibly a teenager or younger. Um, you could be, you know, talking to your child if you have a fire sign child or whatever. Someone that's just very physically active. And the energy, um, that could be playing out or there's going to be some messages you'll be receiving or sending that somebody wants to talk to you. You may tell someone that you have a... Um, crush <laughs> on them that could be like the crush card uh, you know puppy love kind of thing or that could be told to you from um an air sign oh look the page of cups yeah this energy's flying out here actually since that fell out i'm gonna take that so there is um somebody making like somebody's make <laughs> look how these play out it's so funny how they sit next to each other somebody really likes you virgo really has like kind of a crush on you these are two pages these are also your children where you're just putting them in line but this is also um either two separate people are really digging you right now or um you you're getting some messages you're going to be getting some messages okay either from a woman or a male it really doesn't matter okay but these are these are sweet they're not anything super crazy major they're just sweet um somebody's also trying to <laughs> you're gonna be kind of like sharp with someone in in during this week like you know come here i want to talk to you and giving some truth and so you got one person who's just going to be like but i love you you know here here's you know someone's going to send you a selfie or send you pictures of themselves are they going to send sweet nothings or send you a cup with a smelly fish and say oh but i love you you know that kind of stuff and the other person's just going to be like uh you know this if this is a, if this is someone it represents the energy it's like these two people whoever they are are just going to try to smooth you over that's all i'm trying to tell you um because you're just going to be kind of like in this harsh energy it doesn't necessarily have to be romantic but it is going to come up come off where you know you're taking on this stern got your sword up got your guard up and there's some people around you either your children or some younger people or your a love interest or several who are just just trying to soften you up a little bit okay Virgo. next card please yeah remember i was saying like did i say lottery winnings you've got some money coming in the, so after this retrograde things are going to start turning in your favor um some of you are writing uh doing some writing books novels whatever whatever you're writing um really focusing on that if you're trying to get published or do something along those lines that's gonna happen for you there's money coming in it's in your favor the wheel starts rolling again okay after this retrograde so if you're struggling with financial situations or getting things off the ground all turns in your favor the energy playing out here is taurus aquarius scorpio and why do i always forget leo okay so there's some type of possible connections with these people maybe or maybe not they could have something to do you might be in like a book club or you know uh or something online or some kind of book group or something or you're involved in a writer's association of some sort it's going to start turning in your favor very blessed energy i feel like your week really is just gets better for you okay let's see what your love energy is what message you need to you need to know for love during this time 
soulmate. All right, whoever you're thinking about right now, yes, this is your soulmate. Does that mean that it's a, a super, super easy relationship? No, it's one of those relationships where, geez, you know, this person drives me nuts, but they get me. It's that kind of thing, okay? Um, and that could be a friend, family member, sibling, spouse, lover, significant other, whatever it is, coworker, whatever. There's a soulmate energy here. You know it. If you've been doubting, if you've been questioning about this person, if, if you've come to this reading to hear anything about someone in particular and you don't know, well, now you know, okay? Here's your message for just what else you need to know, your life message. Find the blessing in your current situation. Okay, to me, this is um, silver linings. Focus on the silver linings uh, during this time period, okay? Um, whatever you're going through or whatever you're dealing with right now, there's a blessing in here that you may not be seeing and you may need to take a look at that. Um, so definitely, this is Krishna, of course. Some of you are also writing some type of mythology book as well. I don't know why that came out, but it's just came out. Um, or doing something in the long creative arts. Okay, Virgo. So I hope that you have a great couple of weeks. And I will see you in the lives and all that. Uh, catch you later. Bye.